All right, this is a weird one, as we're starting to get update V71. That is gonna be the first update for the Meta Quest 3S that we actually saw together for the first time two weeks ago. And of course, arriving also on the Quest 2, Quest Pro, and on the Quest 3. So why weird? Well, because the last update we actually featured on the channel was V69. So they skipped completely V70 to bring all the new features together in V71. So in this video, we're gonna go through all the features that we noticed so far and also some interesting data mine things from Luna. So, well, let's get into it. All right, here we are. So update V71 is actually available right now on your headsets if you are on the PTC, so the public test channel. This means that it's kind of a beta version of the update. So if you don't want any problems with it, uh, just don't join and you can wait a bit because I'm sure that it's gonna be available when the MetaQuest 3S is actually gonna launch completely. That is not so far from now as this is going to be probably the first update available with the new headsets that brings also of course new avatars and new way of interacting with everything by the way you can use the phone app to actually get in the ptc but just be aware that for some people some games like stopped working completely like population one it's still a beta also being a ptc there's not any official change log just yet so this is going to be what i noticed what the community noticed and what we saw with some data mines that directly from Luna on Twitter, uh, X. But let's start with spatial computing optimizations. I don't think Meta will love this name, but let's go with it. All right, there's been some new updates with the interaction with the windows. Right now, for example, the windows will interact directly with the floor and with the ceiling if you are in an immersive environment. So that means that you're not gonna be able to throw them under the floor or over the ceiling, but they're gonna just snap into it to actually create like a surface. So if you're laying down in bed, you're gonna be able to just, you know, put the TV directly on the ceiling or the same thing on the floor if, uh, I don't know, you live in the upside down. It will be very cool if it will work. Don't try to kill yourself, you're still useful. It will be very cool if this will work also in MR to actually attach it to a wall or to replace your TV or something like that. But for now, it works just in immersive mode. One new thing though about placing the TV around is the fact that finally we have spatial audio also on the Quest. What does it mean? Well, if you place some content in the middle and you turn your head to the right well you're gonna start to hear everything with the left ear and of course the opposite if you turn in the other direction that makes everything feel much more immersive because you will feel like something is actually placed somewhere instead of having to hear everything from every direction so if you place the tv somewhere well you're gonna hear that tv is actually where it's supposed to be instead of like all over you. And this is perfect right now with the introduction of these like 2D apps in the App Store directly. So uh, when you get like your Prime Video app, for example, it's gonna feel like a TV, something that you place somewhere and you can use directly even when doing something else. Because if you go in theater mode right now, you're still gonna be able to open not just the three apps that are open on the dock, but also all the other immersive apps for a total of seven windows at the same time. So they added one window possibility and also the ability to actually use every app when you have something in theater mode. So you have a big screen, but you want to keep doing something with your library or on the browser and everything. Now you can do it and uh, you can place you know, things everywhere. Taking out one of the limitations that we had before. Another limitation that it took out actually is the new travel mode that right now is not gonna be anymore for airplanes, but also for any kind of traveling. They actually changed the icon from a plane to a luggage to make it feel like when you move, you can actually use this one. And yeah, right now you can use it on trains, you can use it on your car, of course not while driving, and of course still on planes. I mean, it's good for every vehicle right now. All right, let's keep going because the new one is Horizon actually on the home screen. What does it mean? Well, they're gonna be able to open now a portal. And actually that appeared right away for me. So they enable it automatically when getting V71. So you can actually jump in your Horizon Worlds directly just pointing at it. We don't have many of these 3D apps in our environments to use, and this is one of those. We have the mirror, we have the first mixed reality demo, and now we have Horizon Worlds. And by the way, now they're gonna have also a section in the library. This new integration with the Horizon World is very interesting because we actually saw a mock-up 
uh, during Connect about the new way, the new system that they're gonna probably use in the future. I thought it was a bit confusing because it felt like having like an operating system on top of another operating system, uh, but that seems like the direction they wanna take to actually make you use more the new Horizon worlds. And also the particular thing, something that Meta is actually working on in the future is actually to change completely the way it is home is actually rendered and utilized because right now it's a very wonky system where you can actually do much with it. Uh, we had a chat with uh, some uh, big people at Meta and actually told us that they're actually thinking about bringing it home in a kind of a game engine so they're gonna be able to do more with it let's invite people with it play games in your world something that was similar to what we had on the rift back in the days and they're trying to port something like that back to the quest to make it more usable and not just an environment that you can walk around limited to actually teleporting and uh, just you know look around and do pretty much nothing i don't know things are getting better there environments are getting better there so probably it might be a good solution also because they're bringing new avatars right now yeah if you logged in recently you may notice that your avatars can actually change right now you can update them directly and the cool thing that you can actually use even a selfie if you use you know the phone app to do it to actually create the avatar i have to, to say that the selfie doesn't really understand much about your face thing so anyway like the avatar didn't look as me at all uh, but i did some modifications and i feel like i'm kind of happy with it uh, it's not my favorite of course but it's miles better than what we had before for sure when everyone looked pretty much identical right now we have many more options to actually change like the body shape the face shape it feels like an rpg character creator but of course it's a bit more you know cartoonish because we're still using a standalone headset so i don't think they're gonna go for a super high definition thing right now uh, for now these are the avatars and they fit well in meta horizon they will fit well in all the working apps like workroom and everything when they're gonna get updated very soon. I'm talking about workrooms and working in VR, we actually have an update on the MetaQuest Link app. That is actually something that I was waiting for very, very long. As so right now with the new update, it actually fused together all the different apps that they had. So you're gonna be able to cast directly from the MetaLink app. And that's a very nice addition without using some developer's tool to do that. You're of course gonna be able to always use Link as you were doing before. And on top of that, they actually integrated their remote desktop app in the MetaQuest Link app. So that means that opening the app on the PC, you're gonna be Good to go, you don't need anything additional to that. If you click on remote desktop, you're gonna find your PC directly, you can open it and you can have your you know, monitor displayed over there directly. Well, there's still no interaction from the headsets directly. You have to use your mouse and keyboard connected to your PC. Hopefully something they're gonna be able to add and fix in the future. Now let's get to some little updates that I noticed directly. For example, now the environments where you can actually change a skybox, you're gonna have customizable written in front of them. We have new low power voice alerts. So when you take your headset off that is low battery, the headset is gonna tell you, hey, I'm low battery, please plug me in so you can use me the next time. And then this is pretty cool, the camera settings, you can actually now customize also the screenshots aspect ratio. So it's not gonna be just squarish like always, but it can be portrait, landscape, as you want. And it's kind of weird that we didn't have the option before and I'm glad it arrived. But now let's get to the data mine things from Luna on X because there are some strings of code that suggest that we're gonna be able to add shortcuts to create web apps directly from the browser. There's something that I really want to see because if they're embracing the 2D apps, actually be able to create your own app from a website will be absolutely fantastic. Other strings of code suggest that PC VR games from the, your PC VR library will start to be actually visible directly in your normal library so that means if you're connected to the PC you can actually start the game directly from the quest library and that's gonna connect automatically to link to then start it instead of having to you know start link get in a new operating system that you have to learn and then start the game from there last one is the meta horizon headsets might be discoverable locally and that will be very cool for like a mixed reality applications where you all get in the same room and then each one discover every different headset and you can play a game together even if you're not in the friendlies or anything like that just being 
around the same thing, you can actually start to share your games and everything. I suppose at least that that might be a use because there's nothing uh, like that in the string of code, just that might be discoverable. But I think that that could be used by devs in a very, very cool way. But yeah, anyway, guys, this is what we know so far about V71. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Let me know if you found something new about them as well, uh, some features that they didn't feature. Anyway, guys, as always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like this, like. Subscribe to the channel more about VR tech. If you're a little bit channels, join button on there. Turn further also the Patreon. Thanks to all the patrons who so join the channel, of course. And I see you guys in the next video soon. Uh, 